Something's for you to think about before you pop your krill pill. Krill is industrially plundered in vast quantities, with goodness knows what else, and causes damage to the sea and other creatures. I was just thinking, if you want to understand mathematics, a great person to listen to would be Carol Vorderman. But krill, whichever way you dress it up, the idea of using krill oil is likely to be bad for the environment. We do not need to harvest krill for our own food use. Krill is the food for an array of ocean dwellers which are vital to our world. We all love baleen whales and krill is what they have for breakfast. Before you swallow your krill pill, ask yourself this question. What kind of industrial process does the krill go through to produce oil? I think they have to die. Just think of all those little animals poured live into some steamy Valhalla. All to make a product that can be found in a better form for us from plants. If you want some proof, have a look at the Statin Damage Crisis by Duane Graveline, MD, the space doc. Page 140 of his book tells us we must be looking to use the parent omega-3 oil, that is alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, which comes in abundance from linseed or flax, as the Americans call it. These parent oils are increasingly being shown to have more protective properties, especially in cardiovascular health. The ALA in linseed helps to balance cholesterol. No need for statins. This is a fluke claim we are allowed to make. Krill oil does not have cholesterol-lowering properties. So, there you have it. Krill oil is not the greatest for your health either, and in the end could well prove to be unsustainable. Linseed or flax, the parent omega-3, is sustainable. When consumed fresh from the linseed farm, it tastes great and so good for you. Welcome to our wonderful world. This is a message from Derwin Banks, a heart-centred farmer. www.thelinseedfarm.co.uk